Oh, uh, just a quick update. Uh, hopefully as quick as I can. Oh, hang on. Come on then. Gee, don't be yourself. Um, <laughs> with my dear friend Alfred in the workshop. Um, yes, Alf. Oh, God. Right, okay. Sit still now. Come on. Sit still. Good boy. Everybody's watching you. Everybody's watching you. They're going to get upset. Yeah. Sit. Okay, good boy. Just a quick video um, to give some reasons as to why I'm building the monster in the back room. This is the other monster in the back room. Alfie, say hi. Yeah. We've been busy today, haven't we? Um, the reason why I started the whole project uh, is because um, I make uh, a lot of metal parts for uh, my tools and uh, I found that using one of these hacksaws um, recently uh, took me... Yeah, it's a hacksaw, Alf. Yeah, lick it. Go on. Yes, you good boy. Um, took me the better part of a day to cut a piece of steel. And uh, that's because of my recent um, illness and um, problems with my my um, vascular system. And it's going to just get worse. So if I want to carry on tool making, that's what I have to do. Isn't it, Alf? Yes. Oh, you are a nightmare. Um, yeah, darling. So um, I decided to, first of all, start out making an automatic saw, which is what this thing is. And it's neared, well, I've used it and it worked okay. And now I'm just reinforcing it, upgrading it a little bit. I learned a lot in the process, but as normal with me and the ALF, mm -hmm. um, things go off at a tangent and I tend to sort of uh, look at other things. And I got into CNC, Computer Numeric Control, uh, because of the saw and now um, the monster in the back room evolved. Basically I wanted to get something that would um, allow me to um, engrave stuff uh, and also uh, make small parts, that sort of thing. Make small parts like you, my new, new dog tag. And um, so I, because I was getting the parts for the saw, I started to look into um, the computer side of it and the mechanical side of it and it kind of just grew. So this is the um, the machine. It's gone through a number of development iterations, um, to say the least. A couple of things I learned, you have to have it pretty strong because if you're going to cut anything other than cheese, um, you really need something fairly rigid. And um, this thing is fairly rigid. Secondly, um, the, I learn also that there's a there's a dis different level of accuracy required for this sort of thing um, to certainly woodworking and uh, to many parts of metalworking and uh, it just basically has to be spot on so that 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 caused me to actually rethink um, my uh, methodology and uh, making stuff it's all good stuff. An XYZ CNC machine is basically a plotter with another axis. So the old days used to have a plotter that drew things out, and that's what this this is. Um, a plotter would be would move a pen one way, back the other way, computer controlled in the early days, and that would draw a picture. Things like the um, the first stages of uh, CAD uh, computer aided design. So if you imagine a pen on here. Tell it to go that way, go that way, tell it to go that way, I'll go that way, that way, back, that way, isn't it, Alf? <laughs> How do you do these videos with you? You're not coming here again. You're not coming here again. So that's um, that's basically all it is. Um, it's made out of aluminium profile, which is extruded aluminium, and that um, that is highly accurate. Quite expensive, but a bloody sight cheaper than buying a CNC machine. One of these things is upwards of 10 grand. Uh, so far, um, pieces of aluminium are 20, 30 quid each. And just cutting it up accurately, bolting it together and adding a few more bits. There's obviously some expensive parts that you have to buy, like ball screws. It's a very highly accurate um, screw that will move this backwards and forwards. There's one on here, you see, it's temporarily placed there so I can measure it. That will turn round and the screw will turn, rotate and that rotation will drive this in a linear fashion. 
So it, it transfers rotational to linear motion. Uh, the most expensive parts are the rails, these, these um, used on the y-axis here. This is quite a heavy gantry, so you need something that will allow you to go backwards and forwards quite easily and carry quite a lot of weight. There's quite a lot of weight in this. There's a few kilos in that now. Um, it takes a little bit to lift it, doesn't it, Alf? Can you help me, don't you? Yeah. Um, so that's it, really. Um, things to do, um, putting in a, um, a bigger motor here, which will give me a lot more torque, a lot more power um, in the, in, on the machine so I can um, mill small um, metal parts as well as um, stuff in Delrin. Um, Delrin is the uh, plastic, basically. It's the thermoplastic. Uh, pretty good stuff. It's very tough, but quite soft to mill. So you can put that on there and it will cut that every day, all day, and not have a problem. But things like steel, slightly more power needed. The rigidity of this, you can see it's there's no flex in it at all. That's due to the the, um, the honeycomb design is very strong. And uh, altogether, it's a big Meccano outfit. So that's what I've been up to, particularly for Monique, who was asking that question, and another a couple of other people. The whole thing will be controlled by an old computer because of the technology being of um, really quite got around to up updating it for tablets and laptops. Um, but uh, it, uh, that will just go under the bench and just have one single purpose. I think I've got one of those in the shed somewhere. And uh, we should be able to play with it then, won't we? So we'll be back soon with another update. This is the end of video number 12. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you said hi, Alf. Yeah? No careers today? Got any careers today? As, as Postman Keith? Where's the postman? Is he there? Yeah, yeah. You only get caught once, didn't you? I did that on the on the video when we did a test. <laughs> yeah, and you, I fooled you then, didn't I? I don't fool you now, do I? No. Okay. Right. So you can see how easy it is for me to do any work around here. Um, I have my little helper, and he helps me quite a bit, don't you, mate? Anyway, that's all for today. Enjoy. Take care. Bye. Off you get, you little rat.